With season two just around the corner, we take a look at some of the new exciting things in this update. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more CFU's content in the future. One of the first cool things that we can see is the new figurehead. It has two lanterns, which is pretty cool. So we can already tell that this customization is about standing out. And this is backed up by what looks to be a new outfit. It could be a curse, but I do believe it's going to be an outfit rather than a curse. So who is this figure we can dress as? My first initial thought was a servant of Flameheart, but that was until I saw the sails. Yep, that's right, there's only one pirate that I know who sails with a cup, devil and spear. You probably guessed it as Blackbeard. So does that mean Blackbeard will be in Sea of Thieves? Or is it just a nice subtle reference to the famous pirate? Who knows, we'll find out in a few days. We also get to look at some new knife emotes. Pretty cool, right? So it looks like we've got at least three new ones coming in this season. Moving on, we can see a crew moving back and forth from their ship. They're either collecting crates or dropping them off to the Merchant Alliance. Does this mean that we can now purchase them from the Alliance rather than having to find them? Also, in this clip, there seems to be something new added next to the Merchant. It looks like a book of some sort. There's also a new figurehead which looks really cool. So could this be related and could there be a new voyage for the merchants that involve using these crates and possibly this new book? Now in this clip, these cosmetics look like they represent the Order of Souls, but they look really cool. So could these only be purchased from the Pirate Emporium or are they going to allow us to earn them in the game? And it also looks like there are some new emotes. The one with the bucket looks like she's eating something from it. So I'm hoping that's not the sip bucket to be honest with you. It also looks like we've got another dagger emote as well and also a loudspeaker one. Pretty cool, right? Now this is very interesting, that Order of a Soul ship looks like it's heading to a new school fort. Could this be Flameheart's new place of residence? And could he summon his many mighty ships to protect his treasure? Or could this be someone completely new? Whoever it is, I'm sure we'll take all their treasure when Season 2 releases. Season 2 is scheduled to be released on April 15th, which is not too far away, so get them sails ready to sail. So it looks like we have a new remote again. But this one's quite different, because this one will be revolutionary. It's going to bring so many possibilities to Sea of Thieves. Not only can it be used for PvP and you can hide and surprise attack the enemy, it can be used for those who don't want to have PvP. You could hide somewhere on an island, wait for them to go and you're safe and sound. Just hide your treasure somewhere on the island, hide the rowboat behind a big rock. Once they've gone, get your treasure out and sail on. So that was a short trailer for us to analyse. But if you've seen anything that you think should have been in Season 2's video, then let me know down below. Also, click the video appearing on the screen right now. You never know, you might enjoy it.